52 feel young again at Ross Moore Leisure World, the nation's first planned retirement community complete with recreational and medical facilities. There are now three Ross Moore Leisure Worlds, all in California, and more are planned across the country. This one, a 6,750 apartment community, is at Seal Beach, just 25 miles from Los Angeles. Builder Ross W. Cortez's apartments feature total electric living to gold medallion standards of the Southern California Edison Company and are equipped by General Electric. To maintain the beautiful park-like atmosphere, all utility wiring is underground, eliminating poles and overhead wires. Each cooperative apartment is all electric for safety and convenience, with electrical outlets within easy reach, separate heat controls in each room, and clean General Electric radiant heat installed in the ceilings. Leisure World kitchens feature modern General Electric push-button appliances designed for the maximum convenience and safety retired people want. At Rossmore Leisure World, all electric living is ideal for the golden years. This is the Bell X-14A, an experimental aircraft being tested at the Ames Research Center by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. No, we're not playing tricks. The X-14A is a VTOL aircraft. VTOL for vertical takeoff and landing. Simply by changing the direction of thrust of its two General Electric J85 jet engines, the X-14A can be made to take off and land vertically, to hang in the air, even to fly backwards. You're looking at a promise for tomorrow. Huge airliners that can take off and land without long and expensive runways. Airports will be closer to town, more convenient. General Electric jet engines help solve a growing metropolitan problem. Meanwhile, you can't get test pilots like Charlie Ace out of the plane. Put it away now, Charlie. Charlie? Oh, well. See what I mean? No man in any science can keep up with the published work in his field. There is just too much of it. The result, in the United States alone, is billions of dollars wasted in duplicating research already done. But for the scientists, and for us, there is hope. Western Reserve University in Cleveland is using a general electric computer to develop a new answer to this information problem. As a part of the Western Reserve program, Teams of specialists are abstracting and indexing publications in medicine, space science, and metallurgy. The indexes are key-punched onto cards, the abstracts filed, and the information is transferred to computer tapes. Under this method, the researcher need only relay his question to the computer. The computer will search through its recorded information and identify likely sources. And quickly, easily, the researcher can get the documents he needs. A promising solution to a serious research problem and a valuable use for a general electric computer. Very few people travel into the mountainous uplands of Honduras, but CARE goes there. The shining white CARE mobile health unit climbs up the winding dirt roads and into the small isolated villages like La Paz because the need is there. Honduras has the highest tuberculosis rate in the world and this truck brings welcome cargo, special General Electric X-ray equipment for diagnosing this dread disease. While the villagers watch, the portable generator is swung out and set up on the ground beside the truck. When all is ready, one by one, 
they climb the steps and enter the x-ray truck. This x-ray has an elevator. Hold it. And it's all over. The x-ray pictures are developed in the dark room on the truck and examined right away so treatment can begin immediately for those who need it. General Electric is proud that care x-ray units like this are active in Panama and Egypt and Turkey and Hong Kong, bringing hope and better health to the desperately poor people so prone to the plague of tuberculosis. Ask any fin. The sauna is more than a bath. It is a source of strength, a builder of character, an institution to be honored. But it's not the most convenient of baths, or at least it wasn't until the electric sauna heater brought it indoors. Now, in many homes all across the country, the sauna is a snug little wood-lined room near the shower or the pool, offering year-round therapeutic value cozy and private as any family would wish. The timer set for 10 or 15 minutes, the thermometer at 180 degrees or even higher, and a young lady like Sylvia Lauterborn of Schenectady can relax and let her General Electric sauna heater work its soothing wonders. Sauna heat is a dry heat, humidity under 10%. So Sylvia can move about and bask in complete comfort. 10 or 15 minutes of this dry, deep cleansing heat, and it's time for a cool, quick shower. Then more heat, another shower, and a brief rest. This is the sauna. Try it, or ask any fin. In Grand Central Station, one of the busiest places in New York City, there's now a General Electric service center. It's a new idea in service that's really catching on because here people can drop off a General Electric appliance on their way to work, have it repaired during the day, and often take it back home that night. A new idea in quick, efficient service. Service proving so popular that General Electric has opened dozens of these service centers in cities across the country. Another new idea, this one for larger appliances, is the mobile service man. In most areas, he relies on two-way radio. Hurry-up calls can be made in a matter of minutes. And generally, he can make all his calls at a time convenient to you. Fast, friendly, efficient service, tied to your schedule. That's the kind of service General Electric strives to give you. It's part of the value you can expect with every General Electric appliance you buy. Because at General Electric, we put the accent on value.